Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Tea Time is an entertainment news analysis program where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Oxy Godwin, and as usual, I'm here with Ife Oluwa Oshunkeye and Chika Umuyo. Hey, guys. Hi. Uh -uh. What's up? It's Which one is now. you? Are you Chika Umuyo? Because it was after no, I said Chika Umuyo that I said it. Your, no, your came voice first, came uh, after I said Chika Umuyo. So are you Chika Umuyo? I want you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want the airwalk. So, this is the new bay, right? No. Are you my bay? Nah. Look at the way he checked you out like, first. Like, he wanted to be she, sure. Is she, she, can no. she? Is she a good friend? Nah. If well, oh, oh, meet criteria. Eh, uh, you said, oh, meet criteria. <laughs> oh, me. Hey, 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 you, but. I feel like you two don't have criteria <laughs> right now. <laughs> like, anyways, let's. Um, but behind the scene, you know what we do? I don't know what we do. Elsie, please. Take the mantle and continue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Cardi B says she was sexually harassed by a photographer in a new documentary. The 26 year old rapper told We TV or WETV um, Network how she was left furious after a photographer exposed himself to her. She said she did try to report the photographer to the magazine owner who simply shrugged it off. So um, I think this is not. Yeah, it's new coming from Cardi B, but the idea of this happening is not entirely yeah. new, right? Yeah. Like, I think people have been talking about it, and she is saying this is her own version of the Me Too. Yeah. So I'm guessing we won't see any other deeper thing coming out of her anytime soon. But at least this is a big deal. It is, it is real harassment. And I don't want to bring it back home, but I, I think I'm tempted to because... You see, you're walking on the streets, I'm taking my long walk or my jog, no, and you streets. see a guy just okay i'm talking about when you go to yaba and you're trying to buy clothes and you mm -hmm. know you know you're trying to leave cut your clothes according mm -hmm. to your size mm -hmm. and then you go to yaba market and you see all those people as in sometimes i work with um people mm -hmm. with ladies and i see the way they grab them I and they that, hold that their is. waist and they're telling them ah come my shop i get everything I know, that's a, that's a lot me, of sexual harassment but mm -hmm. we don't take a lot of that stuff seriously in this part of mm -hmm. the world so um, this is going to take me back to, okay, so over the weekend, I had the opportunity to finally finish um, A Toast to Life by Juliet Ibrahim. Wow. And she also explained how a uncle, when her mom told her that, ah, Papa Jerry died, do you understand? She was like, mm, okay. But her mom didn't know what Papa Jerry had done to her. Now, this is somebody that was always doing Tales by Moonlight, sitting under the, you know, telling them stories and they sit on a lap, and Juliet was his favorite. Okay, I almost thought the man was on Tales by Moonlight. <laughs> yeah, he but was God. always telling stories yeah, according okay. to the book. And then at the end of the day, Papa Jerry pulled out his um, mm -hmm. manhood and um, put Juliet's hand on it, and she was like, Papa Jerry, what are you? That's someone you actually look up to. Mm -hmm. Not to now <clears throat> a photographer that you're actually paying for his services. And then he's extremely No, I think the photographer works with the magazine. magazine yeah. That she was in a photo yeah, shoot. Yeah. yeah, because she said she tried to report to the magazine owner. And he was and like, so, like, so and, and so. But my own, my own question, my own, my own, what was my own perspective is, what a photographer, imagine me, I, I, I'm not trying to demean photographers for anything, but I mean, it's understandable if a director or if the owner of the or company people, is Or the people that are supposed to make the decision you know, to have you, you know, the, I mean, you for know, you to be at the shoot, then I'm You know, but thinking, the photographer, what essential role do you play in me being on the spread of a magazine for you to now bring out that. your manhood and say, okay, you have to do this before you do anything? And you're asking, okay... This is not what I'm here for. This is well, he I'm clearly here. has the backing of the owner. Because yeah. for the owner to say, and so, and and, so and I'm, I'm imagining how the whole, ent the entire organization functions. Runs. Yeah. And it's, 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 uh, it's sad that she didn't tell us the name of the magazine or who the photographer was. Because if she did, I'm sure mm -hmm. that the whole world... It's going to be a new movement and that. Mm -hmm. Because new, people will come out to share mm -hmm. their own... Cardi has a lot of um, legal cases against her for her to be dragging other people. Because and we can still drag them all. You can just drag them. No, she didn't drag them legally. She could just say, like, oh, I was at So-So Magazine and... Yeah, this, and you this think the state won't come for them? Hmm. Mm. Investigations will be opened up, right? Do you understand? Yeah, so, at the end of the day, you can't be, like, a 69. 
Yeah, she's, but she's 69. not 69. 69. Six, 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 oh, when you say 69, it doesn't come out right. Oh, it sounds wrong to you. Yeah, she has really wrong. She has a mind. Ife and Elsie, I don't yes, know where yeah. you guys went to last night, but I am the pure well, one Why Why in the gutter and this they, morning? Yes, right? man. Like, <laughs> see me. I'm just good, though. I'm just yeah, good. Yeah, like you button <laughs> up to this place now. Good yeah, again. Bishop's town. <laughs> you are not in the world. At all. You know? <laughs> when I was in the world yesterday, but today, you know, uh, I came out of you. So fresh. maybe you are um, Dr. DK's boyfriend and my world. <laughs> are you joking? Okay, so moving on to oh, the next nah. story. Victoria Kimani sleeps while asking her Instagram followers to be active. This is one of the things that makes me say that it's nice to be a celebrity. So you're walking and you're, and then you sleep. Like... You know, she didn't even follow. Like she and just, that's news. She just, and it's news. And and it's news. news. Ah, God, do our own no. But, <laughs> but one thing I need to say is Victoria Kimani is beautiful. I don't know. I feel like yeah, she's beautiful. This but video I think, um, is the first time I'm seeing her beauty in its wholeness. Like from she, she didn't have any makeup on, mm -hmm. and then the shape. No, she's beautiful. As much as she's beautiful, I think she was super high in her video. Like. Well, it takes one to no one. Uh, oh, wow. Wow. Did you, because wow. I did not even wow. think. Hey, wow. Imagine <laughs> that she was high. I mean, I, I think she was just having fun. Yeah, but, uh, why yes. is, but why is she asking us to, to, to yeah. like a picture Wait, follow her? Like no, 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 yeah, no, I understand what that, she's saying. When she tripped, I don't see that's why it's not, it doesn't take one to do <laughs> It does just, take one to no, know see, one. It just takes a lot of knowledge, perception, uh, mm. and um, uh -huh. envisioning. Your base is not the, believing you. Mm? <laughs> see, she's gesticulating with me. She's with me on this table. Oh, okay. Now, finally. She says, well, she what, what, what did you say in the beginning? She before you got now, to <laughs> Envi No, perception. Well, that's, okay. so, finally, so, finally. Uh, finally. We talked about perception. We talked about... <laughs> <laughs> Moreover, however, oh, however, mm -hmm. <laughs> why she trips? Mm. Did you see that she missed? I mean, I think I kids. agree with you now that I'm thinking about it. Wow. Because, she no, hold on. Think then about I it. watched, I watched she the other part of the video. Then she walked past the video and you were like, oh, then she walked to her house. Yeah, the other part you of the video. You see, like you realize that. that she's not even wearing a shoe that is not comfortable. It's yeah, like shoes, a block here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's why are you ones. tripping? And why it's not even like we have photos. It wasn't yeah. even in Nigeria. <laughs> if it so was in Nigeria, possible. we'll say maybe Porto. But she passed the house. She did not see Porto. But she still tripped. Mm. So you're you telling me she's okay. She's okay. She might be okay. <laughs> we don't but anyways, um, well, what she's, she's talking okay, about is something I understand. Because these days, you see that you have 100,000 followers. And then you post something and you're getting... 200 oh. likes and 300 likes and even 2,000. Do you know I see that stuff wow. and I get really worried Yeah, but about it's it not, that. it doesn't mean that it bought followers. It's not, it's just mm -hmm. the algorithm of Instagram. So, you have, um, but what's going on let's with say Instagram? you have 100,000 followers, right? So, when you post your picture, mm -hmm. it's, it's not saved to the 100,000 people. They choose, from the last time I read, it's more like um, the number of people out of your followers that engage on your post in the first um, five minutes determines how many yeah. more percentage they yeah. serve the post. What's going on so I can follow you. Do you know I never see your post on my page? I mean, if I, I follow him. Yes, I, don't, I, I never do until I come to your page. No, I haven't posted in a while. Even when you do, I never do. No, I haven't posted in like the last post I did, you liked it. So. I came, that's what I'm telling you. I come to your page to see it. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yes, the, the algorithm of Instagram is very, very tricky. So I, before I used to try to understand it, you know, you know, you're trying mm. to work. Just I just, do your okay, best. I don't, I don't understand it. So, yeah, so I post she, my picture. She, and she, she, it's not like they hate but you, you know or what? they don't want to. Yeah, guys, they what's going say. on with Instagram? Because what? I see a lot of people that I don't actually follow. Mm -hmm. on my timeline. Mm. I'm not following you. I, I, I keep think the algorithm has been reshuffled every again. day. Because yeah, I even because I don't know you. I see people from Cote d'Ivoire. I see people from different part and I'm the one following them. They are not even following me. Ah. Mm, yeah. Do you understand? So and it and that is so annoying. Story, if you check, you're probably seeing some very foreign people viewing your stories and yes. I'm wondering, okay, where are these people from? And I, you're did, not I didn't use me. any hashtag that should bring this external you to follow people. My so it's story. now like they are also serving the stories the way they serve the, the page, you know. So I don't know what's going on, but we are still I think there. that needs to be looked into. So if we can see the Victoria Kimani, so that people will not say that it takes one to know one. No. 
Oh, she's pretty. I know she's actually yeah, no, 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 no. So if it's about pretty. a beauty, Victoria Kimani is one of the greatest oh, women on any, earth. Any female artist that comes for Tiwa Savage, you just, you just have this look after oh, it. Tiwa that's... Savage. Mm -hmm. no, no, she's no, she trying to for, say no, no. that she has a look in her eye. Like, after Victoria Kimani came for Tiwa Savage, Nigeria mm. just started, you know, avoiding her one kind. That's the way it is. Mm. If she brings out a jam and push it where we'll see rockets. Yeah, Anyways, do you know any Victoria for Kimani she... songs? It's time for a quick break, but when we return, we'll have more stories to discuss. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right <laughs> oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Apala music is from mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. Screenwriter sues over what men want. Um, they're claiming Paramount stole his idea. He's saying it's really a ripoff of his script. His name is Joe Kalini. He says um, he wrote a screenplay titled What the F Is He Thinking? back in 2015 and shopped it around Hollywood. He's seen Paramount BET producer Will Parker and most of the flicks writer for copyright infringement. He points out WM or what we made or what men want grossed more than $72 million and now he wants a slice of the pie. Mm. So yeah. I think he mm. might have a case, mind. From what I read, I mean if if he, he's saying that the way you know, if you've watched What Men Want, yeah. there was a point where she had to fall. Memory loss. And then she, yeah, and then uh, the way they also, she also mm -hmm. came back to her memory, mm -hmm. he's saying that that's exactly how it was in his script. But there are too many movies that have this, that same storyline. This movie that came out this year with um, the girl from Pitch Perfect. I forgot. Um, um, not a beautiful, not uh, another love story or something like that. Something about love. She, mm -hmm. too, she had to hit her head. Then she started acting um, funny. Then she had to hit her head. What about Lee Chu? Yeah, so there are too many. Yeah, there's little again. Little many is kind of different. It's kind of different because she woke up and she was different. Do you understand? Yeah. So she woke so up and she was small. And she was small. Yeah. But it's if you, if you all about the ability. No, no, what he's talking about is the idea of being able to hear people's thoughts. Oh. So there is a difference. That's a but, different story. But, and people thought about it was how men think. a remake of what yeah. men want. Yeah. Is it what men want, not what men want? No, um, we think were talking like about man. what men want. Think then like there a was man. what women want. Think like a man. No, think yeah, like there's a, also think like a man. Yeah, but think but like a man wasn't is also Steve Harvey's um, Steve Harvey's yeah, book. Yeah. Yeah. But, but you know there's what men want and there's what women want. I don't know about what women want. I don't, I don't know about what men want. But I want to say that no idea is isolated. Sometimes when you get when you have an idea, somebody else somewhere is having the same idea and mm. there's four years apart between your well, idea. Well you know when it gets to the court of law and you have documents to back it. Okay, and you um, can prove but, that but this you document you got you to their what, email. You know what? Why this is going to be very difficult for them to say, oh, we did not copy anything mm -hmm. from your scripts is because this guy said it was a freelance agent sending a script everywhere to every media house, every mm -hmm. production company you can think about. He named the names in that. And the yeah, company yeah. that actually worked on what men want mm -hmm. actually got that script. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And when they got it and then you saw a movie about something similar to what you did that they did not give you approval, they did not tell you that, oh, we'll shoot it for you. Mm -hmm. So he actually has a case. He does Do you understand? have a case. Yeah, he does have, have a case. But um, let's see how this plays out because, um, like you said, no idea is original. There's nothing new under the sun. Yeah. Do you understand? So at the end of the day, I'm not going to even say, I'm just going to wait for the... Um, 
yesterday. Court of law mm -hmm. to judge this. But and Paramount see. has not even responded. Yeah, they, they haven't. haven't. They haven't said anything. Of course, things like this, you have to check with your lawyer, check every news. There are too many ends. loopholes. There are possibilities. Yeah. You sent an email. I didn't say it. And do you know the funny it. thing? I didn't you didn't open it. Then you have to prove that you didn't open it because it has to be on your own red. No, no, no. Even if I opened it and I'm not interested. It doesn't mean that while I'm trying to create something iconic four years later, I, I it won't just back. flash back yeah. to me. I don't even know where I saw it, but I'm like, no, the fact like that you saw idea. it somewhere and it is that flashback that came to you means that you picked it up from somewhere. But you don't but even you know where you know. picked it up from. Now and that you know, it's not possible for now, somebody's coming, coming forward, forward to you to tell you that. Piece of the pie now. Mm. Uh, okay, they grossed down seventy-two million dollars, so. I mean, mm. I, well, there's another case that the, the person that handles the email, obviously the person that handles emails saw it and did not take it to the people What if they also to... called him for a conversation? No, they never yeah. did. Because he said because he contacted, he, said he also said he contacted he said sports, they never got um, back to them. sports cameos. He called people. different networks. But there's so many, actually, let's not lie, they're actually very similar, a lot of similarities. Similar stories. Like... He said he, he wanted uh, sports cameos and he's already spoke to them. He also spoke to like big actors that would be in the movie, but nobody responded. But that's normal, which is what Actually, we're talking because you don't about. Because you don't have an agent. We were talking about David O's um, appearance in um, Coming to America, right? Mm -hmm. And I said performance and all of that. So if you're talking about cameos, you can have anybody in a cameo appearance in your movie or in your video shoot. Do you understand? So. Like I always say, being a creative, there is nothing new under the sun. I'm never scared to share my ideas with people. You want to know why? Because at the end of the day, you probably thought about it. You've probably seen it somewhere. But who wins is who does it better. True. Yeah, it's in the execution. I was going to say yeah, do you understand? It's in the execution. So, so the someone fact that can even executed, pick up your idea and execute it and still, and you still execute yours and it's... Cancer. And it will be better than yeah. what you did yeah. and then I will be making you know so original, much money. Right? Because Originality is what plays in, in every idea. I do and every day. I, I, in, when it comes to creative, there's nothing... I'm sorry to every creative out there, but there's nothing like originality. Because we... I think so too. Do, do, do you know what? We're all thinking. We are all working on a daily basis. We are trying to develop ourselves. Oh, crow is original. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Cardi B. I think it's Zlatan. Do that Zlatan. Zlatan to the game. Kapai Chumari Mari Chupako. It's original. Ayy! Ayy! You know what it means? Uh, what does it mean? That, that is why it is original. Because you don't know what it means. No, it means something. Uh -uh. It does mean something. And it's like that can tell us, right? Mm. Like he, he, he oh, yeah, so I'm telling you, original. Yeah, but somebody has coined out that same meaning with another chupaji tapa tapa tipe tipe. What is this? Just want to believe that Zlatan is original. That's just it right now. You're being a hater. Say that somewhere. Chupaji tapa tapa tipe. No, he's original. No, I'm original, right? I know. But he was inspired by Zlatan. I know my stuff. I, I, would, I, would love to, I would love to watch this one closely to see how it plays out. Yeah, it's it interesting be. and I mean it's it's give and take or give or take or whatever it is. And I hope that he can settle this out of court really because it's not it's not that serious. If he needs something, something, if they can except they are very sure that they never had any it's possible that the, his email is even just there and on the red and they will just munch it to him and like oh god take my email if they hired an, an, an external script writer yeah. to write this whole script mm. and it's not even somebody, somebody from yeah the and then it's not even somebody so do you oh. uh, i know i know i know yeah he's smarty okay <laughs> should we hug no no that's how we wrap up this episode of season thank you for watching and remember you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our youtube channel at plus tv africa and you can also watch tea time in london on ben television my thank you as always to go to my co-anchors chika Nguyenwu and ifeolu Oshuke and the entire production team and of course i need to thank our stylist pearls pearls clothing right thank you for doing and a good my job stylist. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and have yourselves a wonderful day.